Well, let's get a couple of flights on the GFS F22 DIY Micro before I completely destroy it. I got a, uh, I wasn't uh, paying attention where I had it in the air, and if you guys could see, the nose is wrinkled up pretty good. I came in low and went right underneath the table and impacted the front of the car. So now it has a wrinkled up nose. It has a chip out of the horror's uh, vertical stabilizer. It's got dings all along the leading edge of the wing. It's got 400 plus flights on it. But you know what? It's still flying awesome. So, <laughs> so let's get it near. It's still flying awesome. Who would have thunk it? <laughs> That was a close one. Got a little too low with it again, didn't I? <laughs> I don't know what's the matter with me today. Maybe I shouldn't fly any planes today. Watch that car. Don't hit the car again. I can't, I still can't believe I did that. I don't know how many of you abuse your planes the way I do, but man, am I abusive on my planes. Still flies pretty well, doesn't it? Even with all that damage. This is the second plane that I have run into a vehicle this year. The first one was my 48 centimeter glider, truck glider that I converted. I ran it into the truck and now this one into the car. Isn't that a great flying little park jet though, even with all the flights and all the damage it has?
even with all that, it still flies better than any brand spanking new factory micro park jet I've ever flown. <laughs> Who would have thought? All right, I'm starting to get my haptic. Let's make sure we don't have anybody coming. Okay, we're gonna come in from the opposite direction. We are clear. Go around. Wow, that glides pretty well, doesn't it? I'm surprised at how little drag this uh, foam board park jet has. All right, let's get it down there. There we go. Can you believe that? I, I can't believe how much damage I've inflicted on this, plus the 400, the 400 plus flights that I have on it, and it, it's still flying awesome. It has got a heck of a lot of battle scars. All right, I want to put one more pack in it. I got two left. I'm going to go ahead and film one more flight. So, throw it back in the air here in a second. See ya. Let's see. Our wind has shifted 180 degrees. All right, launching. Try not to do anything else really stupid. Now the color scheme on this is just decals. I just printed some uh, full sheet decals to put on it and what I also found, you know, rather than using the packing tape, um, it really adds a lot of strength to the foam. I think I have definitely gotten my money out of the 75 cent foam airframe. <laughs> This thing is so maneuverable. It works great as Elevon only. It's absolutely fantastic. I think when I redesign it and rebuild it, I think I will put um, ailerons and elevator just to see um, what difference that makes, if any in the um, maneuverability 
I can't imagine it would be more maneuverable than it is with just Elevon only, but you, you never know. You never know till you try. So I think that's what I, I think that's what I will do. But this thing is, it's just a joy to fly. <laughs> Let alone many park jets. I don't have many factory planes that fly this well. I hope I reset my timer. Sure seems like I've had it in the air for five minutes, doesn't it? And it's still pushing vertical like that. Okay, I'm starting to get my half thick now. Okay, let's make sure we don't have anybody coming. We don't. Go around one more time. Bring it in. There we go. Oh. Let me bring it in from the opposite direction. I forgot that the wind has shifted 180 degrees. We're coming from that direction. There we go. <laughs> so much abuse. And yet it still flies absolutely awesome. Look at that nose. Oh, man. I still can't believe I did that. Anyway. I think, it, I think I've gotten my money's worth. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the air.